Look at this. And boom. Welcome back guys to a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all of the infinity stones inside of Infinity Gauntlet Thanos Simulator. So let's hop straight into this. Alright guys, so as you guys can see the gauntlet is right here. So let's go ahead and uh, click the gauntlet and spawn in with our gauntlet. Now, so I'm going to show you guys how to get each and every one of these stones so the first one you're gonna want to get is the space stone so when you click on with the gauntlet you're gonna spawn at a random place in the map so uh, you're just gonna have to be aware of these fella NPCs uh, it can be easier in a public server because uh, other people will distract them but right now they're all on top of me so it's gonna be a bit of a pain so let's go so I'll see you guys when I get to the space stone all right, guys, we arrived. So all you gotta do is come up all the way here, and it's gonna be at this like corner of the map here. You, you'll be able to see it uh, when you get here. So we have to do this part cord. It's pretty easy. Just have to be careful because they will disappear. Um, here we go. And uh, we do not want to fall because all the NPCs are right there. So you're gonna do a quick double jump right there, and you will get the space stone just like that. So with the space stone, when you click with it, it'll throw a block. So as you, we can see, where are they? They're right down here. I don't think we're gonna be able to throw it from this angle. So let's hop over here. Uh, maybe we can throw it from here. Nope, all right. So let's put it in our gauntlet. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna press Z. So now we have the stone. And now also, uh, as you can see, our health increased a lot. Okay, we gotta be careful here because these guys are uh, jumping up. Um, so. This is good now because now we can teleport across the map. So let's go to the time zone, which is that green bubble over there. So let's press F and then here we go. Oh, okay, that failed. Let's go a bit higher. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna press F like right about there. All right, here we go. So now all those bad guys are over there. So we, we have time too. So this is for the time stone. Now the time zone's a bit tricky to get because it will freeze you in time. Um, so let's try to get up here all right there we go and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait for this bubble to disappear and then teleport up and then here we go so i can't move right now because it froze me so we have to wait for the green bubble to like kind of like go away and then there we go grab the time stone all right yeah as you guys see we got caught in the bubble so now we have the time stone which is pretty cool and i don't think this does anything when you hold it so uh it's pretty this one's pretty useless but now we can add it to our gauntlet so if we hold out our gauntlet and we press z there we go now we have the time stone and i'll show you guys what this one does in a little bit but now let's teleport all the way over to this one so let's go ahead and press f and teleport and then here we go so you could do this or you can just click over here and teleport and there we go we have the reality stone pretty easy um so let's teleport it back now and there we go uh oh uh oh all right it's fine all right so now we can press z and now we have the reality stone so now we need the soul stone and the mind stone uh and the power stone can't forget that one so i suggest getting these two before you go for the power stone And the reason for this is because power stone is going to take a lot of uh, force to get. So let's go ahead and jump down here and start killing these guys because we're going to have to kill them, unfortunately. So let's throw some of these. So we can press Q. No, we can't. All right. So hold on. Let me make. Okay. We're glitching a little bit here. Let me teleport down there. Uh, okay. Are we good? We're good. All right. So. We're gonna have to take these guys out. So as you guys can see, um, these these abilities aren't working because of uh, we don't have some of the stones. So we just gotta kill a bunch of these guys, basically. Um, there's multiple ways to do this, but just doing this is pretty easy. So we're gonna do this for a little bit because we need the soul stone. The soul stone is gonna help us a lot um, for the power and the mind stone. So. We can see this NPC with the five little lights on him. That means he has the, so uh, sorry, Mind Stone. And then, once you kill him, you get the Mind Stone. But he has a lot of HP, so it's going to be hard to kill him. So, that's why we want the Soul Stone, because you guys see what it does in a sec. So, I'll see you guys when I get the Soul Stone. Alright, guys. So, I accidentally just 
killed one of the guys with the five uh with the five heads uh, or five lights so now i just got the mind stone so let's go ahead and put that in our gauntlet and there we go so now i'm just going to keep continuing to grind for the soul stone so i'll see you guys when i get it all right guys we just got the soul stone and look what it does it like completely burns them so let's put this in our gauntlet just like that and now let's go for the power stone which is just over here so let's go ahead and teleport so we can get out of there all right so you're gonna need to put your sound up for this so if you could boost uh, the audio here okay so whenever you hear that you want to shield as quickly as possible which is the keybind C so you're gonna do that uh, as soon as he makes that noise um, all right, let's wait for him to do it again here we go now all right so you're you want to block this because this will absolutely destroy you and then you're gonna use your soul stone to deal damage to him now to make this go faster because this might take you a little bit uh, I'm going to bring in my main account to lower this guy a bit and I will see you guys when I am back all right guys so I'm using my uh, main account to lower him a bit here and uh, and then we're gonna take him out just cuz this guy is super powerful so um, yeah we're gonna keep doing this damage to him and then I'm gonna stop doing the damage when he's like at about a thousand but basically you would just use your soul stone here to keep doing this damage to him and if you die you can always just respawn with your soul stone so let me make sure we're not gonna kill him all right that's perfect so now we're gonna use our soul stone to finish this guy off and three two one just like that we just got it all right now let's get out of here as quickly as possible so now that we are out let's put the stone in and there we go we just got the badge i am inevitable and now you have all six infinity stones so let's let's check out what this some of this stuff does so if we press q we can actually charge up our gauntlet and if we punch we could basically one shot any person that come we come across so there's that then there's e which does uh like a little like snap thing but only for some some characters uh then there's r i'm like kind of learning okay this is like a, tr a supercharged punch so basically you could just go like crazy like with this and it just does a ton of damage and makes you go super super fast um and then there's t which is the time stone which actually freezes every character but the ones with the mind stone which is actually crazy because i've seen no other game with a time stone that actually freezes the enemies so it's like really cool so look at this like it just absolutely freezes them and as soon as they come into contact with this it just absolutely freezes them which is really cool so then we have T. Oh, we already did that. Um, so there's all those abilities. And then there's the um, teleporting, which we have already seen, which looks really, really cool. I love those effects. Um, and then I think that's it for that portion. Uh, then, yeah, C shield. Um, we have to charge the gauntlets for these last two abilities. So let's go ahead and press this. And if we press X look at that we just absolutely annihilated all the characters so to see that a bit better uh let's do this again all right so it's, it's, it's kind of flinging me around but you guys get the point um so there's that and then there's this oh wait never mind hold on there's there's this look at that i have no clue what's that doing because i didn't know even that, that was an, a, an ability but that is cool so if you charge up your gauntlet and you press the v uh, it just like puts puts them on fire, which is really cool. So it's like a mix of the soul stone and the power stone. All right, guys. And for this last ability, we have the snap. The moment you've all been waiting for. So if we go ahead, we, we charge up the gauntlet. Now, if we press Q again, we can see classic snap. So if we press that, look at this. And boom, just like that, it one shots every single character near. This one lived, I don't know, somehow, but it, it one-shots every character. And then your gauntlet is useless. You can't use it anymore. So now let me teleport back up here. All right, and there we go. So now that we're up here, so we have all of the stones. Um, we have all of that. So there's Stormbreaker, 
there's a secret weapon and universal weapon Mjolnir and all that stuff. If you guys want me to check those out, let me know down in the comment section below. This is going to be it for this video. Um, also, if you guys want me to showcase uh, this, hold on a second. Let me just pull it out. So, as you guys can see, my main account over there, I'm going to teleport over to him. And he has this little thingy here, which is the Power Stone. Which, if you guys want me to showcase that too, which is the, not, not this one. It's not this one. It's the Game Pass one. If you guys want me to showcase that, let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!